Well, e-cigarette maker Juul announced it will temporarily pull some flavored vape products from store shelves. Yeah, Juul's CEO said in a blog post, we certainly don't want youth using this product. Health specialist Kathy Walsh joins us now with more on a program to help kids stop vaping. And Kathy, it is a troubling trend, kids and vaping. That's right. Federal regulators use the term epidemic levels. And according to the CDC, Colorado leads 37 states in teen electronic cigarette usage. Well, we went to a high school class in Littleton that educates and trains teenagers on how to kick the habit. Stress is stress. Stress is part of being human. At Chatfield High School, Don Daniels is teaching teenagers how to relax. Meaningful, thoughtful breaths. Think about your breathing. The subject is unusual. The students' identities are confidential. With tropical forest sounds, and the scent of lavender. Ninth and 10th graders work on strategies to stop smoking electronic cigarettes. How do you calm that three to five minutes where your hair is on fire and you need nicotine? Daniels teaches or, government and he also runs the school's Not on Tobacco program. I haven't seen cigarette usage in over three years. Daniels says nowadays these small, easy to hide electronic devices are the norm. According to a CDC survey, a quarter of Colorado high school students said they vape. It's rampant. The, the kids have no problem accessing the devices and using them. Olivia Riddle started vaping at 15. Maybe fit in and I guess feel cool. The NOT program helped her quit. I hardly even think about it. Now, Olivia helps Daniel's counsel. Control the end of your day. Control the start of your day. Today's session ends with donuts and carrots. Perhaps an understanding that finding and sustaining a healthy alternative to anything may take time. State funding for the NOT program ended on September 1st, so this year, Jeffco Schools is covering the program for 10 high schools. The plan is to take it year by year. Uh, I hadn't heard about Jewel a few months ago, and now uh, it is everywhere. It is unbelievable, and yeah. you know, I think they are kind of doing a preemptive strike right now because the FDA is going to come down on yeah. that. All right, thanks, Kathy.